Women artists must be placed on a pedestal. This was LA Art TV's ultimate art goal, visiting Glendale Brand Library Arts and Culture Art Show titled A Century of California Women Artists. Since its inception in 1921, Women Painters West is a diverse multi-generational group of 200 women artists that award scholarships to art students in Southern California. Membership is by application and juried selection. Besides, the show visiting public was eager to review some paintings for LAR TV. There were two questions. Why women artists artwork is paid less for than men's artwork? The other question has been, if a U.S. Treasury was to ask you to design a brand new $100 bill, what would be the front side? Hear the creative soliloquy splash of women artists. I was very fortunate to meet with Diane Carpell from Women Painters West about four and a half years ago, and uh, she wanted to do a show to commemorate the 100th anniversary, and luckily we had some space, we had some time to plan it, and we also had the pandemic that gave us an extra year. Um, one of the stipulations was that we couldn't have just a regular juried show, we wanted to have something special, we wanted to have a way for the current members to connect with past members of Women Painters West, and so we together came up with the concept of having the past members be inspiration for the current members of Women Painters West. My name is Diane Carpell, and I am from Women Painters West. Um, I actually was the exhibition chair for this project, and it's a hundred years um, anniversary of this organization of women in Southern California, and it's been a five-year project. We also were able to get on loan from museums and private art collections of artists that were very famous, um, including Mabel Alvarez, many, many artists, and we have an entire historical section of borrowed pieces from museums and private collections. Hi, my name is Jay White Burton, and my painting is in red. It's called Essa. I was inspired by Gertrude Ord. Her work of women was so sensual and beautiful and so I wanted to do reflect the same thing in my piece. If the Treasury Department contacted me and asked me to put a painting, a face on a hundred dollar bill, I would put my mother. My mother's the strongest, most giving, hard-working woman that I know and has, she has been an inspiration to me and to so many other people. She has changed the life of so many people that I know. She gives up her time, her energy, her soul to always help other people. So I would put her on the one hundred dollar bill because she means that much to me. Why women get paid less for their artwork? I think because the world has not accepted women as professional artists thus far and we're just as qualified, just as talented and just as perceptive in our work as any man. Um, I think we are changing that by just doing this show. Women Painters West has been around for over 100 years and I think just by being a part of this group is the beginning of a change. My name is Ellen Levine with Women's Painters West and this is my painting called uh, Geranium Rhapsody and it was based on an image in Montreal where someone had discarded a piano on the street which made me really sad to see a beautiful instrument I play piano to see that somebody had just discarded it up against a brick wall and it had been there obviously for years as you can see it's very dilapidated but I chose to try and make a positive statement in this painting by saying that even as consumers when we discard stuff as garbage something beautiful can still come from it and something beautiful came from the top of this piano the geraniums were blooming and they were amazing and all the flowers around it were amazing so I felt like in today's world it was a statement about consumerism and what we discard but also a positive note on the fact that beauty can come from things that are discarded. I was asked a question about if 
the U.S. Treasury were going asked me to design a $100 bill, what would that design be? And I believe I would put Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the $100 bill because she has done incredible things for women and she is one of the most admirable women that in many, many years. And I think she deserves to be on the $100 bill. My name is Sandra Jollis. I'm 92 years old. I was a fashion designer. I began my life as a fashion designer and I've been painting ever since. Um, I like to paint figures. I mostly paint figures. I'm very interested in the body. And now I don't see very well, to say the least. I don't see out of one eye and I see marginally out of the other eye. And so what may look a little odd to you looks perfectly fine to me. And that's how I paint. I'm a woman's artist. I paint only women and only women's subjects. I like to paint women at work, women nude. I to still life, and it looks like it's about in a setting where it's about lovers, and maybe a first time lover, because you see here um, an intimate magazine, a little risque, and probably get some ideals about what to do uh, in this first time relationship. And you can see you have fruit here where maybe her lover is feeding it to her to kind of entice her, to make her feel comfortable, to make her feel relaxed. And so it shows the, the greenery of life. My name is Mache Duffy. I am here at the 100 Women Art Show. And this painting is beautiful. Many of them are beautiful. What I love about this one in particular, I love butterflies. To know me is to know that I love butterflies. And as I'm looking at this one, my boyfriend and I were just commenting about the 3D nature of it and how it just kind of pops out at you. But as I look at it, to answer your question, I think about what the little girl is thinking and I would think that she's thinking about the metamorphosis of a butterfly and how they transform from caterpillars to this amazing creature here and how her own life there's the possibility of transformation and who she is and who she has the possibility of becoming. I am Michaela Hughes. I'm an artist here with Women Painters West um, at the Brand Museum. Um, the kind of art I generally do is absolutely I work in mostly acrylic with um, mixed media. This is the piece that I did for this particular exhibit. Acrylic, but it has copper strips on it that um, I've patinaed and I put metal stain on it. And I wanted to really just capture um, the flow of the trees and to create a... I painted this when we were in quarantine during 2020, so I, I really wanted to create uh, a painting of a place that I wanted to go to as opposed to being stuck at home. So if I was to design the $100 bill, um, I think it should have 100 on it and a lot of bright colors. Andrea Raft, and this is my painting, it's called Rise Up. And uh, I've depicted here an Indian and woman, American Indian woman, uh, proud and ready to take action and speak up for their tribe. Uh, I was influenced by Catherine Layton, who painted uh, Indian, Native American Indian men. She worked for the railroad and she tried to get people to come out west. And that was what she did. And I wasn't going to paint a man. I wanted to paint a woman and speak up and have her be proud. And this is my painting. It's acrylic on canvas. And I'm so happy to be in the show been a really great experience and a beautiful show. So I hope everybody comes to see it at the Brand Library. If I was to ask, be asked by the Treasury Department to design the front of the $100 bill, the thing that I would want to be put on it, really and honestly, is some type of form of imagery of indigenous people. Because if it wasn't for them to allow people to come into this country and help them survive, there wouldn't be America. The settlements would have starved and they would have just, it just wouldn't have been successful. So I think the hundred dollars, well, I would want it to be some type of form to show gratitude to the indigenous people who allowed for the first settlers to even to survive. Well, the question is why women get paid less for their artwork. 
Well, actually, why do women get paid less for every single profession there is, I think? I think until we um, really look at the systemic inequities in our system in terms of pay and child um, leave, paid family leave, things like that, we're never going to have equality. And I think women have to push for greater equality because it's not going to come from the men. I am looking at this picture here, and it's, it's, it reminds me of a midnight dream. It reminds me of a place where you want to be that doesn't exist really in reality, but something in your imagination, in your dreams. And it's very calm, it's very, a little bit eerie, but a nice kind of eerie. And I, you know, you wonder why women get paid less for their artwork, you know, and I don't know if that perception is changing now, but is this a matter of history? Women have always got paid less, whether they were writers, whether they were doctors, no matter what profession, especially in the art world, they weren't valued, even though they, sometimes they would not even let the world know that they were even a woman. Because they knew that they wouldn't be valued and wouldn't get paid their due. So I think that's changing now and it's great. And it's changing because the world is starting to see equality, not only in the sexist but in the racist and throughout. And so when I look at this, I don't see it as a woman done it. I see it as a human. And I think that's what's important in life. You know, that we are all equal, no matter what sex we are, no matter what religion we are. We are we are here the human race. And when I look at this, a man could even have done this. But because it doesn't matter, man or woman, I think art doesn't have a sex. I think art has a soul.